Cycling for the first time. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. How'd you feel? I'm tired. I'm tired. Man, that was a good one. On the scale of one to ten, how do you think that workout was? This one was a lot harder than it typically is, but hey. Really? Yeah. Why did you bring rid of this one if it was a typical hair? She ain't had her fans on. That's true. I was like, I was I'm about to suffocate. That's I'm true. sweating. My legs were hurting. My legs weren't hurting. It's just that when I had to stand up to bike, I just don't have the muscles yet. Like, if I were to keep doing this, it was like... I think I really enjoyed this. I just don't have the strength to really enjoy the yeah, movements. But Goodness. apparently, I'm coming tomorrow. Oh, you're coming again. Oh, great. Love that. That's one. <laughs> Salmon and a marmite, tomatoes, carrots, radishes, cucumbers, red onions, and avocado, and kale. Have a little sauce, kind of wash it down. She got a cob with steak and bacon and egg and carrots and cucumbers. What is that? Is that fried onions? Yes. Yep. And then I don't know what that is. Salad is just vinaigrette. Yes. Mm, I don't know. That. I am seeing myself lose weight without the scale. And also the scale is showing that I'm dropping a little bit. However, I think I can be dropping a little bit more, but it's because of some of the cheating that I've been doing. Let's be honest, <clears throat> it's been kind of hard to not cheat um, at all. And so like, if you cheat a little bit, it's gonna make you want to cheat some more. So I've had coffee, but coffee's not bad. It's the way you have your coffee. Like if you have your coffee with sugary creamers and all the extra stuff you don't need, then yes. Um, for me, having dairy makes me bloated, um, socks me up, so that doesn't help. And allowing myself dessert, allowing myself dessert, like it's not okay. And I know it's okay for certain seasons, but for me and my mindset, I would say, oh, every day is a good day for dessert. And it's not. <laughs> I have to consider like dessert a sin. If not, I'm just gonna keep eating it. So I look at salad now and I'm like, oh, salad, ooh, I don't want that. So, um, but I need to get hungrier throughout my day. Also, I, I'm not getting up at a good time to have three consistent meals. So I'm having two, um, barely three um, meals a day. On the other side of things, I did up my protein to see how that will work. On the back end of things, it's like, I'm gonna run out of protein faster. So there's that. I don't know. I see my body losing weight and it's trying to continue to lose weight, but it's like, can't lose weight if you keep putting on the calories. So it's not about what has happened and it's not about the past, it, it happened. Let's focus on the future. That's the thing about working out and life journey is that people get off track and they don't get back on track. My hardest thing is to get back on track. And this is what I need to learn 
to continue this journey. If I want to see 100 pounds off, this is where it matters the most. Because it's not about not cheating. It's not about going too far um, once or twice. It's about how quick and how consistent am I going to get back on track and stay there. And that's the most important thing. Because that's what gets me the results I want. So, how bad do I want this? I want it pretty bad. And I've lost weight. And I've seen that I've gone down in pants sizes. But I'm not at the pants size that I was when I first started gaining all the weight back. It's I think this is a way deeper conversation with myself. You know, why am I doing this? Why do I think this is okay? Why am I giving myself leeway to do what I'm doing? And let's let's figure that out. I'll come back and tell you guys and we'll go from there. woke up super early today right and me and a friend were gonna go to a cycling class my first cycling class was yesterday as you saw my knees hurt and my legs were sore but I decided this is gonna happen 6 30 class we're in an overflow she says we're gonna get in not everybody shows up well because Angie got up at 6 30 to expect a cycle a bike Everybody shows up. So here I am, Planet Fitness, earlier than expected. I've seen somebody that I don't know from church, but I know we both know each other. We've seen each other, but we don't talk to each other. And it's kind of awkward. But it's over, 7.42. And um, I have a lot of the day ahead of me. So there's that. I just haven't already. I don't know if this is the right week to do this challenge, but it's 5.37 and I'm at technically 1 p.m., like not even. It was because I went to coffee and I forgot my jug and yeah, on top of that I had coffee. So when you have a cup of coffee, every cup of coffee you have to have eight ounces of water. On top of working out, I worked out this morning and I think it's the same thing. Like <laughs> you have to have eight ounces every so many minutes you work out. So <sighs> I'm so sorry, guys. This is like I'm hitting the rubber meets the road here, and this is one of my weeks where I'm just not on track. And there's several different things in this week that I am keeping on track. I am doing my apple cider vinegar. I am working out. I did do cycling, but there's some things I'm not keeping up with. And I know this is real, but like getting back on track is number one. And I'm doing that. And I promise like I'm going to do this for me and to show you that you can do it too. So I hope you guys are encouraged because... I feel so discouraged telling you this, but we're going to make it through. <laughs> 